Are you cool with going live? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. I can, can I like not? I gotta like watch my language and stuff, probably. Uh, no, not necessarily on your language. Okay. Don't say anything irate. <laughs> it, it, no, it's it's just more of like, I don't know. I think it's kind of like it's kind of fun to like just fact. Yeah. We're live and rolling and like you know also if there's something you don't want to a question you don't want to answer you can just say like no or stop or yeah 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 but i mean i'm open to anything i don't really care what's the wait what's the name of the instagram i mean of the uh of your podcast uh pirate utopias so yeah, you probably have to google pirate utopia jesse burger or something like that but you'll find it on there you don't have an it's not there's not an instagram for it though huh not right now no i'm, I'm taking a little social media break i told you yeah, it's probably a smart thing. I had to, dude. I was going, I was going crazy. I was like, literally, just like watching social media during the pandemic and being like, "People are <laughs> living like this. Like, what am I doing wrong? You know, like, really, <laughs> how are you having fun during this whole s scenario? You know." I mean, I literally skated the whole time. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, it's like all I could really fucking do. Dude, welcome. Pirate Utopia Season 2, the Rockstar Edition. This is only for <laughs> rump shakers and wave takers, and you're definitely both of those things. Welcome, Derek Gray. What's up, dude? <laughs> so let's, let's, let's kick this off. Like, I, I'm going to just kind of pass the ball into your court for a little bit. Okay. Um, how old are you? Where are you from? Give me some basic info. Just like a little rough, a little uh, rough info. Same. My name is Derek Gray. I'm in my early 30s. <laughs> um, from <laughs> I'm from Pleasanton, uh, California. Um, I lived in San Francisco for shit, probably like a little over five years. Uh, lived in Lafayette for a little bit, and now I live back in Pleasanton. And uh, I just work full time skate full time as i pretty much skateboard every single day um i fish i hunt i drink beer ride mountain bikes ride road bikes and uh yeah i have a lot of hobbies <laughs> i feel like you're being humble like on everything except for the skateboard <laughs> Just, yo you live a you live an interesting life like you do a lot of shit you really do and I, I've yeah. seen I've witnessed that online and just you just even being your bro for yeah, it's probably been upwards of 15, maybe even close to 20 years at this point that I've known you in skateboard. Yeah. Bum rides home off you. So, honestly, you're probably one of the persons that gave me the most rides to my mom's house back in the day, like more than anybody else, bro. Like, I, well, I, you know, I want to give you some credit for that. Like, that's, that's <laughs> well, I give you credit for hanging out with me. I mean. I, I honestly think I'm the biggest, the biggest kook you will ever meet. So I'm privileged. <laughs> I'm privileged to have the amount of friends I have, I, honestly, because uh, I don't know. I've, I've been known to kook it. Um, yeah. And I mean, I don't know, like you and probably Satoshi were like the first dudes. Well, I guess you, Satoshi and Jeff LaPrade were like the first dudes that were down to hang out with me in high school and like I was a grade above you guys and nobody in my grade really skated. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Satoshi, like I remember like, I don't know. That's why I take Satoshi. T Satoshi was such a, like an important person to me. It was because like there was that one day we were going to go watch the girl video. Like, uh, yeah. Right. Like when it first came out he was like the first person to have it. And he was like, dude, like come over, like we're going to watch the girl video, like come over and, let's go fucking watch it. And then went over there, watched the girl video. And then we like went to FGO after. And then uh, I remember I was trying to heal up the stairs and then you were like filming me heal up the stairs. And you're like, dude, like you should get this for, uh, what was the, what was the video you were filming at the time? Was it wet paint? <laughs> oh, it was, oh, that was, yeah, that's right. That was the first one. Yeah, dude. Paint. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, so I remember you doing that 
And then uh, the whole crew showed up at FGO. Like, it was like Mike, uh, shit, Andrew Look, uh, Jeff, fucking who else? It was like, I don't know. It was everybody. Like, everybody was there. And then uh, I remember everybody's like leaving the park afterwards, and Mike just like was kind of like, oh, yeah, dude, like, Everybody's kind of like going in their own way, like going in their separate directions, you know, like giving me like the, you know, like beat it, beat it, dude. And uh, I was like, whatever, like, I get it, dude. Like, like, I understand. So I dipped out. But I always like, I don't know. I always like appreciated like you, Jeff LaPrad and like, and Satoshi like so much because of that. Like, like, I'll never like, I'll never forget that day ever. Like, that that day is like stuck in my mind like i don't know i've been like fried like like the past year like in my backyard like just off too many too many brews and like been like i don't know just thinking about satoshi and you know just like damn dude that guy like fuck i probably wouldn't have the fucking friends i have today if it would maybe if it wasn't for that day that he like invited me to come over and kick it at his house you know what i mean damn I don't know. I had to throw that out there because that's something I've been like, I don't know. That's something I like really like I've been through a lot of shit the past year. And like, that was like something I really thought about. It's like, I don't know. It's just pretty heavy. I think. <laughs> I know. God bless his soul. God bless his soul. Like, man, he's a good kid. And he's yeah. down for the skate scene for sure. For sure. But it, yeah. it's that you mentioned that like people that in you're right. Like I remember being in high school and like nobody in your grade skated literally no not like not really like pat smith like he's my yeah, best friend today but i didn't become friends with pat like till after i met you guys like me well i always knew who pat was i just like he was like the other dude in my grade that was good and all the chicks like loved him so i was like jealous I, of him he's a ladies man yeah yeah like we had like we had this like rivalry going like fucking like this dude oh but let me bounce back to the satoshi thing like the reason i thought about it a lot this year is just because of like the pandemic and everything and like people dealing with like substance abuse like really heavily i mean i'll definitely be completely honest like i drank a lot the past year um i've toned it down a lot like in the this moving forward into this year but like i've had friends that like have got addicted to drugs and stuff and like that's like one thing that like really like i don't know it hits me kind of hard because of dealing with like Satoshi and what happened with him. So when I have friend, other friends that are close to me that deal with like substance abuse, like be, that's outside of like alcohol, like it, that shit kind of hits a little bit heavier. So, uh, yeah, but we can dip back into like the whole Pat thing. Cause yeah, Pat was probably like the only other dude in my grade that legit skated other than me. And, uh, the first day I ever met Pat Smith. So Pat's like my best friend. Like Pat's like me and Pat hang out to this day. I go over to it. Like he lives in Oakland now and I'll go over and kick it at his house with him and his chick and let's we'll go get drinks and stuff and kick it. Like, and it's like, I don't know. We talk like me and Pat have like a chat that we talk on like every single day. So like every single day we're like just going back and forth about like random bullshit, whether it's crypto politics or like skating or like style or whatever the fuck doesn't matter it's just whatever we're just talking about bullshit all the time yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah can you, can you can you tilt your laptop cam up uh, just a touch there you go banging is that better better yep cool. there you go. that's it now you got the cowboy shot <laughs> uh yeah but uh shit i met pat and like i met pat in eighth grade because well, hold on hold on uh, before we get into pat like we'll, all right all right we'll, we'll lean into pat hard like it's it's yeah, like, we, hard we not do to that. lean into pat he's <laughs> super lovable he's adorable he's a great human being i love that man yeah. too i mean that was the that he was the first skater that i saw that could ollie high and do a kickflip and a 360 flip before yeah. i even touched the skateboard you know yeah but like, if you want to talk about like sus substance abuse in this pandemic, dude, mental health, I knew I had issues before this pandemic and just this yeah. pandemic just highlighted all of them. It was just like, <laughs> fucked, bro, if you don't have, have this shit in check. And like, I don't know yeah. about you, but like, cause, cause you're expressing that like you get out there and you're like mountain biking and you're fishing and you're skateboarding and whatnot. And like, I found that like, as I got older, like, you know, like 
when you're 29, 31 years old, like you bust up your elbow at the skate park and you're fucking, you know, that happens like pretty regularly, yeah. right? Like you get scape, s- scrape or like a little dig, whatever. That yeah. like all of a sudden looks kind of weird when you're like 30 something years old, you know, when you're like a kid, it's like, oh, that's pretty normal. You scraped up your elbow, yeah. whatever. But like, you know, it just became this like thing that was like, dude, I, I like, especially to the level that I wanted to skate at. You know, it's like yeah. taking high risk, ollieing these hips, skating the bowl, fucking occasionally taking dig, a deep dig. Well, yeah. I, I, you know, it's, it's, I cannot go skate and not push myself anymore because like I've hit these capabilities where I'm like, I just want to keep doing that same level of pushing, yeah. you know? But then mm-hmm. like what I have learned from that was like still being a young man with like a ton of fucking energy, like insane yeah. amount of energy where it's like, yeah, dude, dude, if I'm not out there getting after it, like actively, like I'm, I'm a fucking madman. Like that's what's yeah. gotten me. Around. I know. That's what's got me DUIs, got me like, you know, just being chaotic as a human being. Yeah. No, I mean, I'll definitely like attest to that, dude. I mean, I don't know. It's like, I, like I said, I have a full-time job. Like I go into work sometimes and my fucking elbows and shit are fucked up. And my coworkers, like not all of them, like they all know I like mountain bike and do like all this other shit. But it's like, I don't really mention that I skateboard because I feel like if I like let on, like, I don't know, I tell people that I skateboard, but it's like, I don't really like lead on that. Like I skate every single day and stuff. I kind of just like throw it out there. Oh yeah, I skateboard. But uh, it's like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I honestly feel like I skate better today than I did in my in my twenties. Like, no joke. Um, I skate transition a lot better. That's for damn sure. And it's like, I don't know. I always think like, like shit. Maybe I should just like, you know, I'm cool with just like chilling on like a five zero and a back fifty and a board slide and like a bowl and like maybe doing a Smith grind occasionally or something. But it's like. Nah, like I go out skating. It's like, yeah, no, it's like, I, I actually like, I want to learn back tail. I want to like do this. I want to do that. I want to like, like, I, like try something harder on like a bigger section in a bowl, you know? <clears throat> and it's like, I don't know. Like I can't, I can't be content with every day just like doing the same thing. And it's like, if I didn't skate or anything, like shit, I would have been like miserable the past year. Cause literally all I did during the pandemic was skate. Like, um, I, we did this thing where it was like the group of people, like it was like me, my, like me, my brother, and then our good friend, uh, Justin, uh, Rust, we call him Rusty. And the three of us just literally skated like since like pe- the pandemic started. And then I was kind of like going through a breakup with like my fiance at the time. And so it's like, I literally like, was like, it was fucking crazy. Like, and then uh, I ended up getting laid off from the job I had, which wasn't a big deal. I mean, I had, you know, I was, I'm financially sound and everything. So it wasn't that big of a deal because I saved my money. But um, yeah, it was super stressful. Fortunately, I had my fucking younger brother to skate with every day and my buddy, uh, Rusty. And we literally just shredded. And then they closed the skate parks down. But then there was a mini ramp in Oakland that was like open and we literally would go there every single day and just skated. And yeah. And like, I got so many tricks back that like on transition that I like never thought I would like, I'd get back maybe. And then like, I learned how to stand up on five O's finally. I learned how to like, I don't know. I learned a lot of stuff I couldn't do before. You you could do front five O's. You could just do Smith grinds. I couldn't even really do Smith grinds before. Like I couldn't stand, like I could five Oh like slash, but I couldn't like stand up on a five Oh and like, grind. like I could not skate transition. Like, like whenever we skated transition back in the day, it was like, I didn't like flow it, you know, like I wasn't like, like Mike, like Mike was really good at skating transition. Uh, our old buddy, Tony hair, like they flowed it, but like, when you're a street skater, you kind of just like go at one quarter pipe and like try a trick. It's like, like, um, like the wall at, at San Ramon park, you know, there's like, there's not really a way to like flow and hit that. So it's like, I would do a trick on the wall at like San Ramon park and I would just like go straight at it and like do a trick. And like, that's it. Like I wouldn't flow around the park and like, like five Oh tail slide, go down and like hit the other side. Or it's like, I went to, I was in Boulder, um, 
like when I was 21 and I like, I 5 0 fakey like the big wall there. And from what I remember, that wall is pretty big at the Boulder Park. But I like, you know, I just went over the pyramid and like did a 5 0 fakey on it. And like, that, I mean, that was like, it's kind of gnarly, but it's like, it's like, to me, it's just like, oh, a street skater doing like transition tricks. <laughs> Dude, the Boulder Park is is so fun. I love that park. I went there. That's actually, really sick. I was there like I guess it was two years ago, and it's funny, man. Like, I rolled up there and I had this. Uh, I had a crooked board, but it was like a I forget a, a zigzagger. It was one zigzagger, one of, yeah, yeah, and it, like it had like crazy ass grip tape on it, and I don't know because I actually bought that board when I lived in Texas because like I slammed so hard, like just yeah. The the, te the Austin Texas skate park is sick as fuck. I mean, I met I met Beagle there. I met Andrew Reynolds there. I met way more like pro skaters at the Austin Texas skate park than SB Park or any of the LA parks or any SF park I ever really went to. You know, and yeah. uh, but I I just got so into skating as like a, you know as I turned thirty and then it just was like. Pfft. Dude, I'm slamming. My elbow is destroyed. Like, I can't go serve tacos for my night job, <laughs> you know, <laughs> as my elbow's like gushing blood after, like, you know, yeah. eating shit. So I bought the zigzagger to kind of like tone me down. But anyway, no, it, it was just, a, it, was a, it was a good board. I love those boards. I, I just think skateboarding and all those things are just such a, ultimately, like, a really good outlet for like a lot of energy that I think like young, like especially like young masculine yeah. energy beings have like you can't even say masculine bodied people anymore you know because like there's so many people like going through like all different shifts and i mean yeah. it's, taken, it's been a learning curve like even one of my roommates right now is is trans and like that's been like a huge thing for me to be like hey i now fully know somebody in my reality that's going through yeah. this process and i think it's fucking rad and before this i had no idea yeah. what i mean that's, what that's my thing about. it's like uh like i lived in sf for for years like i had i mean i used to hang out at aunt charlie's it's a like it's a tranny bar like i have i used to have friends that were like straight up like m to f f to m you know like and it's funny because i hunt and fish and shit so it's like i from people's like perspective of like knowing me it's like i listen to country music i'm fucking like i seem like a total hillbilly which i am like but it's like i i don't know i accept everybody for who they are like i have tons i have tons of friends that are you know that are whatever i don't really care as long as you're cool and hang out with me and i don't know you get different perspectives from other people and it helps shape shape you to the person that you are and yeah i don't know i'm like a Love everybody. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> me too. But like, honestly, with that one, for me personally, like I was, I was living in Austin when that was like a big, it was a big topic in like 2018 yeah. or 19 or something like that. Like, yeah. Oh, trans people want to be in the Olympics and they should be in this category or that category or about, you know, like, it's so like yeah. a, a lot of podcasts and like, it was a hot topic. And I was honestly like, of like, well, I don't know anybody that's going through this. So like, I don't yeah. know, how can I relate to this if I don't know anybody specifically that's going through this? And now I'm like, oh, now I totally get it. Like this totally makes sense to me now, or as yeah. a couple of years ago, it didn't. And, and yeah, same with the COVID thing. It was like, I didn't get sick. Like I never felt like, oh, this was yeah. serious. And then sure, you could call me like a, you know, a question yeah. a skeptic or whatever but then like as soon as my mother had it i was like oh fuck this yeah is then shit got real <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure because it's like mom you're not even going to the doctor like you gotta go get tested like you're sick as fuck you have all the symptoms like go at least yeah, I got, go I got tested got at least yeah. know if it's this you know yeah i mean contrary to what people think like i mean i you know, people see my Instagram I'm skate. I was skating and shit all the time and stuff. But like, to be honest, like I got, I would go get tested. Like anytime I'd go hang out with like a chick, I've like, I've never really hung out with before. I'd go get tested, you know, whatever. Um, I was pretty careful about it, but I, I, I've been sick since 2019. And like, I don't know. It's like, 
it's like my my thing with anything is like i don't know if i can't relate to something it's like yeah obviously I, like everybody has an opinion i have my opinion about things but i don't judge other people ever like i never really judge anybody based on what they believe or what they think like i just kind of like do my thing and it's like just don't tell me how to do my my deal because i'm not going to tell you how to do your deal so just don't tell me how to do my deal kind of thing but no. uh I 100% I 100% agree with you but like yeah. right now like <clears throat> my current like thing that I don't I don't get but I'm like I'm witnessing it as trying to understand it right like like right now yeah. personally is gaming and like streaming <laughs> your online gaming right and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like there's Switch. somebody that lives in town here in New York with me and he lives literally like a few houses down and we make hip hop music like we just he comes over he makes beats we fucking rap over him it's just a lot of fun and it's great yeah but he's just like a couple years younger than me and makes that's how he makes money it's like streaming on he's got like 400 subscribers on his youtube thing to watch him play video games. Crazy, and I'm like, yeah i'm like dude you that's get right. to go on youtube that's right right but i'm like <laughs> what like i just don't i'm not saying it's not valid it's just yeah. there's a there's a period for me where I'm like, this is the thing, and I'm just admitting that I have ignorance around it. I don't. I'm not. Oh, saying yeah, it's yeah. Not cool. Like, sure it is, but I just don't get it. It's like my buddy that's a fucking musician. Like I have I have fucking records. Like I have like vinyl, and he's like, why the fuck do you have vinyl? I'm like, cause it's sick. Like I don't know, dude. It's fucking cool. He's like, and he's just like, cause you're a fucking hipster. I'm like, no, I just like vinyl. I don't know. It's cool. Like I like the way it sounds. It sounds all old and shit. And he's like, dude, you can just buy good speakers and have good sound and like play music off of your Spotify. I'm like, yeah, I do that too. Like, but I also like playing records. So like, don't fuck with me cause you don't understand. <laughs> I mean, that's just, I don't know. That's my opinion about everything though. It's like, I don't know. It's like, it's like the whole gaming thing. Like I don't fucking game. Like I don't, like I used to play video games. I used to actually be hell of into video games, but Me too. I can't, I can't sit in door. Like, dude, I have a hard time coming home at the end of the day and like just eating dinner and sitting down and like reading. Like that's hard for me sometimes. Like I can do it, but I'm just like, I get home and I'm like, shit, I want to go skate. I got to go do this. I'm going to make some food. Ah, like it's gotta like go do stuff and like because i've been sitting at a desk all day <laughs> right right yeah i don't know like the gaming thing is it's just it's new to me and uh, yeah. i mean even even over the pandemic like um i had made some money investing especially in like my bitcoin stuff has been great and beneficial but uh right now as it's di as it's dipping <laughs> It's dipping oh, right dude, now. I, dude, I've just been like literally just getting I've been, I've been taking out as many loans as I possibly can to just buy more. Like this Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta, I don't know. You gotta remember like the first Bitcoin I bought, bro, was like for $12 at a CVS. Yeah, the well, yeah, I, the first time I bought it was yeah, it was years ago. And I've made I, I only I didn't even put that much money in, so now I have like a good amount of money, but it's like I'm in it for the long run, so I literally like like what I did is I just put my money in and then after a while I was just like I just deleted the app off my phone and I was just like I just don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. Like I'm just gonna like let it go. And then I like open the app up again, like down the road. And it's like I'm like, Oh, I got a good amount of money. All right, this is cool. Yeah. Dude, that's, <laughs> like, it's that's, like, I don't that's know. It's the like way to do that thing. You know? Yeah. Like when I bought twelve dollar bitcoins at CVS, like we were literally just buying drugs on the internet, like I don't have any of those 12, you know, I gave all those Bitcoins away. Like, cause at that time, like nobody thought Bitcoin was worth anything. We just thought it was a way to hide the money, you know? Yeah. Like, well that, yeah, that was the thing too. I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? And then I think Andy Hatch was like, I think somebody told, like I said, cause I worked, for, I worked for a software company for years and like one of, uh, one of my buddies at work, like yeah. kind of put me in on it. And then I, I think I reached out to like Andy and like Andy, like was like, like, yeah, dude, you should get in on it. And then, yeah, I don't know. Like, and then I was just like, all right. Well, I was like still kind of skeptical, but then I was just like, ah, fuck it. Threw like, you know, so much money in and it worked out. <laughs>
Yeah, I mean, I don't want to make this episode specifically about crypto. I mean, yeah, no, I don't want to talk about crypto. <laughs> no, it'd, it'd be like honestly, like I'm like I want to talk about. I I love bear trends. Like yeah, I personally like I've been in it now since 2013, and it's just like I really hate bull markets because it's just like that's when everybody and their fucking douchebag brother. It's like, let me call Jesse Berger. He's got a lot of Bitcoin knowledge, you know. I can just blow yeah. his phone up for information, you know. And I hate that shit. Like, it's the worst. Well, I, yeah, that's why I don't ever, yeah, I don't know. I never put shit on blast because I don't want somebody asking me about shit. Plus, I don't know shit about anything, dude. I just, like, I just do my thing. Like, I don't, I mean, I know things, but I don't, like, I'm not going to pretend that I'm a fucking genius about anything, so... If you're gonna take it, nobody should ever take my advice on anything. Well, I don't want to be responsible. The thing is, like, dude, I participate fully, fully in like discords and telegrams. Like, uh, I mean, basically, I don't feel like I ever have to work again. Cause that's sick. Just, that's rad. Yeah. I, that. I mean, <laughs> I say that, but it's like my work now is like participating in telegrams and discords with devs and like building the blockchain you know like it's cool yeah. it is cool it i i really heavily believe in it and I, and I have like a lot of passion for it and there's times where i'm like fuck you guys i'm not going to come back and then when i next time i sign in there's gonna be like 500 new comments i have to go read through because i didn't participate you know yeah that's cool though dude that's rad I mean, it's kind of rad, but like, it's also like the deeper you get into it, like if you're going to like take it to the next level, it's like, like at first you're like, oh, cool. I'm profiting off this, right? Yeah. Like, like cool. I'm making some money. I, now I can like spend 200 bucks at the bar and like, I don't give a fuck about that. Cause I'm, I'm a baller all of a sudden, but then, <laughs> then, then, then you get to the next level, right? Yeah. Where it's like, oh shit. Okay. Now you're like, whatever it is six a lot of people call it like six figure six figure health where you're like you got 100 grand or maybe you got 900 grand whatever and you're kind of like in this like middle ground of like well like i could buy a house and spend all my money or i could buy like a ferrari and spend all my money or whatever i would never do any of the either of those things <laughs> but you're kind of like in this like imbalance right and then and yeah. then then you get to like seven figure freedom where you're like into like the millionaire category or whatever and then yeah. it's like then you're like hey if i if i try to cash this out i'm totally fucked 100 <laughs> fucked like i will lose yeah. half of this instantly and then potentially half my account's frozen <laughs> you know, like, so it's not like it's not like being rich is like super you know great it's just like y you have to be able to like be educated to the level that you're at and like how to participate yeah. and right now it's like i have no i have no pets no girlfriend all i have is my like 700 bucks a month that's pretty and, sick. I, and that's cool and and i fucking i go and party seven days a week and do whatever i want which which is cool for now for now but like i know my appetite's gonna get bigger and bigger like you know soon. yeah and i have to figure out how to like manage that you know yeah i mean i don't know it's like i, I work five days out of the week and then i go skate fucking whatever <laughs> you know like i don't know i feel like i'm just constantly like chasing the like well, not even chasing. I don't think I'm chasing anything. I just like, I don't know. I just work to afford to do the things I want to do, you know? I'm, I'm fine with like working freaking eight hours out of a day. <laughs> I, I I feel like I like sometimes am. And I actually like sign myself up for like uh, a job this whole summer. I mean, yeah. for the next, uh, four months I'll be working in audio gig 40 hours a week and you know are you, still, are you still doing like video videography and shit i mean obviously you're doing this right now but <laughs> are you still doing like like video shit and stuff yeah i mean um it's matured you know like i'm a little bit more like choosy about like where i 
spend time, I guess. Yeah. Because it's like, eventually, you're kind of like, oh, like, kind of like if you if you can skate the bowl, it's it's just like, okay, you can skate the bowl. And if like, somebody paid yeah. you to skate the bowl, you would skate the bowl. Like, who gives? Yeah. A- like it's it's not that hard, you know. Like once you have the yeah, skills, why skate, not? <laughs> and like skating the bowl is like a, a a bad comparison because people are like Tony T or Dander Hobel versus like me and you, you know. Yeah. Um, but like with audio and videography, it's like I mean, dude, I can I can record and track and like monitor levels and. Yeah, present for somebody's presentation for eight hours a day. Like, I, I, I can do it. Like, um, I don't, I don't hate that work, but like lately, with having some recent success, especially in this year, I've been like, I actually need a job. Yeah, like having infinite days off and like, you know, be like, oh, if you could spend a thousand dollars a day and nobody would notice, like that. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. me up. That 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 fucked me up the most out of this whole thing. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> that's cool. You're still like in doing. Yeah, I was like wondering that the other day because I was like, I was actually so I was trying to I was trying to uh, record like some of the old tricks that I did like that you had like uh, online, like because I had like. I don't know. There was like a couple of tricks out of a montage that you filmed for, of me, and then there was like the the last like FGO video, which was like that impractical practice one. Oh, and it was yeah. like, yeah, I think Derek Locker actually filmed that trick I was trying to pull. It was like the one where I was in the marina, and I did like I did like a, what the hell did I do? I did like a Wally, and then I did like a Wally back fifty like on this thing. It I don't know. What's it looks name? pretty sick. I don't know. I like it. (laughs) No, what's what's the marina spot look like? I forget. It's like the one with like the fucking like it's like these like octagon shaped like uh Wally thing. Right. You know, and I did like Wally back fifty. I was actually trying to Wally back tail that fucking thing, but I did Wally back fifty because I was like, oh, that'll be sick, and then I'll do Wally back tail. And then I never like never went back. Um but that I wasn't even really skating that much then. It was like whatever. But then there was like, I don't know, it was like whenever uh, you made those like uh, little edits and shit. And then we went to that, that uh, like over by the BART station and like over at Lake Merritt. And I did like, I was trying to like nose blind across that ledge, remember? And then like I went and I did, I did front tail to like switch Manny, like drop off. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really like that trick. That trick's actually like really, I actually really was stoked on that trick, but I wish I would have did the nose bone. The nose bone would have been gnarly because I don't think anybody's ever done that actually, even to this day. Dude, the Treasure Island sessions were like so fucking epic, bro. Dude, have you ever been to the Treasure? Have you ever been to the Treasure Island park? Park now? It's fucking insane, dude. It's so gnarly. Is it? Wait. There's a skate park there now. It's like a DIY. It's rad. Oh really? Oh no, I've not been there. No. Oh, you gotta go I check. Say, like I, I remember Alameda Park was sick. I remember Alameda Park being really really dope yeah, but the treasure island park is like it's like a straight up like diy there's like a mini ramp now and like not a mini ramp but like a mini bowl and stuff and like it's it's so rad like i don't know there's there's a lot of good shit in the bay area to skate nowadays dude all right i'm gonna light this fat fucking spliff Right in your mustache face, you motherfucker. Go for it. <laughs> you match my mustache. Dude, that's, I've... You the mustache... The style, it. <laughs> dude, I've been I rocking a mustache. Jeff the other day, it, like, he, he was... I had a mustache as well, and I was wearing some Doc Martens, and he was just like, you, you're you just like Chaz. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Jeff okay, has a pretty let, good mustache. Let me ask you this. Like, you started skateboarding... When you were, how old? Eight. Eight, and then yeah, I've been skating like, like eight or really actually skating. That, probably really seven or six. I don't know. I've been skating a long time. Like my uncle skateboarded. That's that's impactful for sure. But yeah. also, like, 
like you, you, okay you skateboarded when you were eight right but then like when let's fast forward to like 16 you got a car we're fucking driving to spots around town yeah that's a different type of skateboarding so like when yeah when you when did you really like hit the skate park and you were like uh, re, you know made that commitment like was it 12 13 14 probably shit well in eighth grade okay so in eighth grade i uh that was the first time i started going to fgo was like eighth grade but i skated like i skated in middle school like in sixth and seventh grade like i was skating like i could heel flip kick flip like i could ollie stairs and shit like i just didn't go to the skate park because well i did go to the skate park i just like couldn't go after school because my my mom was like a nutcase and wouldn't let me go <laughs> sorry my mom's not a nutcase i love my mom but she just like wouldn't let me go to the skate park <laughs> because you're a kid also, yeah like even though even yeah. though in middle school I would skate to chicks' houses to go like make out with them. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're fucking. Yeah, so I, I definitely like, prioritize that over your... fucking snatch, dude. I mean, come on. Well, <laughs> you're not trustworthy. Yeah, I just think it's funny now. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's like I prioritize going to like go make out with a chick like in middle school before like I could have like snuck off to like go skate FGO after school. No, I I went to go sneak out to go make out with some chick at her house and then be late going home like and, all right i'm i, I want to like i want to like touch base on a, a sensitive subject but like okay your mother's right. concerned for you right yeah at this age rightfully so like you're you're riding skateboards you're doing your thing you're fucking you're red yeah, that's you're, a lot you're of red lining early on like you're, you're yeah. ready to go to the max but like didn't your birth dad get in a lot of trouble? Yeah, my dad's been in jail my whole life. My real oh. dad, not so. Right, right. So, yeah. I don't. I, I mean, you can ask me. I think. I, I think I, this I, is. I. I. It, it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. And like, maybe you've not processed this enough. But like, I think that you have has that impacted your like decisions in life oh yeah absolutely like i like th- i don't know i thought i was gonna look like my dad my whole like probably up until i was 20 shit 22 i thought i was gonna end up like my dad like i thought i was just gonna like because my dad like i don't know i mean it... <laughs> I, don't, I wonder if he's gonna watch this but anyways uh Why would yeah you watch this? huh why would he watch this? No, no, not him. I don't think my dad's gonna watch this. I'm just like, I just don't ever talk about this. That's the thing. I don't talk about my dad very often with people, especially I'm on a podcast. I don't know who's gonna watch this, but. Um, no, but hey, no, just, hey yo, I, the, just before you go any for more into this, cause like yeah. right now you could say like, fuck you, let's go back to Pat Smith and we'll lead into that. We totally can do that. I mean, like, I don't. I don't mind talking about my dad any, anymore. Yeah, like, I just want to like share this with you, Derek. Yeah. Like, sometimes when you talk about some like heavy shit, like it helps other people understand that yeah. their life is like gonna be okay too, because like your yeah. life is okay. It's good now, and you yeah some of the darkest days that anybody could ever fucking imagine as being a kid. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, my dad was a literally a full blown maniac. <laughs> but um no, he definitely had issues. Uh he was in he had brain trauma when he was like whenever he was uh like in his uh late twenties. And then uh he's like full blown like, you know, party animal, like just I don't know, did drugs and stuff and then just got in trouble with police. Uh and uh, my dad's been in jail most of my life. That's that, b- bottom line. My dad's been in jail most of my life. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a stepdad that took care of me and my with my mother. My mother's a very strong woman. Took care of me too. But um, that I mean, it's just been a hard thing for me to deal with uh, throughout most of my life. And to this day, I mean, I'm shit way better. Like I don't know. It took me up until I was like 22. 
to get past it. Uh, the last time I spoke with my father was, I think I was 23, 24. I was drunk out in front of a bar in Oakland. And uh, I don't know, he was calling me. So I answered the phone. I talked to him. And it was just like, I don't know. Like, damn, dude, you fucked up. <laughs> and I was like, I'm glad I'm not, I don't know. Glad I'm not like the person that I thought I was going to end up like. And I don't know. That was that was probably it. But I made peace with that. I'm good. Life goes on. You know, got to understand we're all cut. I mean, even though like that is my father, I have a lot of traits of my father. I love to fucking party and have fun, but I'm not the same person that he is. And I've, you know, I've made peace with that and here I am good. So fuck it. (laughs) I don't know. I make that sound a lot easier going, but I mean, you're not your parents and you can't choose your parents. So. Hmm. that's my that's that's I don't know that's my takeaway from it well, okay so you mentioned that you had like um like a, a good like stepfather that like f- fulfilled yeah role for you right like yeah you know, like example and taught you how to treat a woman properly and mow the lawn and fucking keep things tidy around the house and make yeah well like if you want to go to like the treating a woman right and stuff like i saw the way my dad treated my mom and like i would never ever like i don't know i have like a very protective sense over women like i don't know it's like i could see a woman a girl get you have a memory of that yeah like even like how old were you i think i was shit I was like a little kid when my mom left my dad. Like I was like five, but I, you know, I remember things like a kid, like, I don't know. I remember crazy shit. Like I remember stuff like it was yesterday. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to say it right now, but yeah. Like I remember stuff that's like, really. I've seen stuff that people wish they haven't seen. (laughs) Let's put it that way. But, um, what did he get? And honestly, I laugh at things because I do that for my own sake of, feeling better about things so i don't know people sometimes are like why are you laughing i'm like i don't know i just laugh because it makes me feel better inside about things i don't know what um i mean you don't have to answer answer this but like what what happened like was he dealing drugs was he doing like tax shit like no my, my, my dad was just like he literally was like you know you go to the bar and like you know you get you get fucking wasted and you know like you do some blow and like my dad would just like take all those things like to the extreme like my dad didn't really do psychedelics didn't like do opioids like he just did like fucking upper like my dad just loved a fucking party like he loved to be fucking like hyped up and like the dude was like my dad was a guy that like you say one wrong word to him like like at the bar, like he's probably gonna fucking knock you out. <laughs> wow. And he'd do that too. He'd get like, he'd get a, like, he mostly, like, the reason he's been in jail so many times is because, like, he gets in, like, he's gone to jail for fighting. Like, police, people, like, it's oh. like he just fucking knocked my uncle out. Like, dude, like, not, not my, not, not his brother, but like one of my uncles. Like, I fuck, scratch that one off the thing. Probably shouldn't be saying that. But, um yeah my dad's just a fucking animal dude <laughs> huh like he, he, like, he was like, a motocross like, racer like he was gnarly dude like he'd run for the cops on his motorcycles like he'd be high like dude he has friends that he made because he like was running from the cops on his motorcycle and pulled into somebody's backyard and they're like yo what are you doing and he's like hey man like can i hang out here for a second and then, like, ended up becoming friends with people because he was running from the cops and he was, like, hiding in this person's backyard. Like, <laughs> crazy shit. <clears throat> I mean, like, I, you know, I've, I, I've known you for, it, it's pr- probably been 20 years at this point. Yeah, something like that. It's, it's wild. 
Um, and I've known that fact about you, I think, since I met you. But I never yeah. really wanted to question it or like, I never thought it was my business even. I mean, anybody can ask, like, dude, honestly, I'll willingly tell people if like I feel comfortable, but like if anybody asks me, I will fucking tell them. Like, it's like, I don't, you know, sometimes I don't want to talk about it. Like there is times where I don't want to talk about it, but it's like more, more often than none, like I'm down to talk about it. Sorry, I'm going to grab a beer. But yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem talking about stuff. Like, especially nowadays, maybe like back in the day, I might've had like more of a problem. Sorry. We're getting a beer out of Chess's fridge. Yeah. <laughs> no, but okay. So hear me out though. Like the reason I said what I just said was like, it wasn't to be like, to like fluff you up or give you even a hug. Like I, no, no, no. I, I'm all I'm doing is just like being here to like li listen to the reality. Like I actually never knew, you know, what caused any of that. Like I, I've, I've never known that story. You know, I never, yeah. I think maybe I mean, he, that he called you when you were, when you were young. I remember. I think I do remember that actually. You tell me that he hit you up randomly. Uh. But I'm, yeah, it was like whenever you were living in Berkeley and then I was living in Oakland, I probably like I probably told you at some point because we were like hanging out all the time. But it was like, it was, level, like, dude, like, I, like I've been fucking jailed and like in you know in sin, gnarly scenarios and they like, had to go like yeah. halfway houses and like all this shit. Like, dude, I've never known the Aryan Brotherhood more than like going to like county and then like, yeah like a halfway house for like a year that's just real <laughs> dude yeah yeah and it's like people still to this day are like yo you're a little burp, burp, burp. and i'm just like yo you also have not been me like and yeah. i can't be a mexican guy or an indian dude or a chinese guy or a black dude like i'm just i am a white person and like when i got in trouble I had to go with the white people. I didn't want to go. Well, that's what that's what jails are, though. Like, that's just what they are. My brother's a my brother works at a jail. Like that's my brother does. He, my brother does too now. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I'm wait, really? Yep. We'll talk about this offline. But anyways, um, so Rob works there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh damn. That's but cool. um. But uh, yeah, I mean that's just that's just what it is, though. Like it's like, like they just it's all separated by race. Like that's just what it is. I don't know. It's like you know. And then the gang, it's just like gang shit. Like I don't know. I don't try to understand it. I just like I'm just like oh, okay. Like these guys are se like segregated by this. It's like they're all criminals. Like they all gotta like have each other's backs to some extent. It's like I don't know. That it is what it is. God bless them, dude. I mean, I just hope I never go to jail. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I've never been to jail. To be like complete, well, not to say that I've done a lot of bad shit or anything, but I'm just, I don't know. I love to party and have fun, and sometimes it gets out of hand, as most things do. But <laughs> honestly, dude, I've been to jail so many times that I'm like, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say how many times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's embarrassing. So uh, self-awareness, I think, is the most important thing in life. If you have self-awareness over everything you do, I think you're, I think you're gonna be okay. I'll, I'll say that because every time I cook it or I do something that I'm like that's questionable, I'm like, God, damn, it will like literally like, I don't know. I can say the wrong thing at a party and people get offended. It will bug me for weeks. Like, not even joking. I will be like in my head about I'll be at work like god damn it did I really do that yes the other day god damn it motherfuck <laughs> but that's I don't know sorry my dad's texting me not not my real dad <laughs> oh oh yeah I mean I was on uh I was on the gosh I get I get a lot of like consulting calls nowadays. Like I don't 
technically work for anybody, but like people want like my opinion and they like p pay me a couple bucks for like an opinion, like a crypto decision or like a project or ideas on how to develop it or whatever. And, That's cool. Uh, no, it, it's great. But just, just now they were like, some people were hitting me up and I, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking like, I love that painting you have in the background. Sorry to change the subject. I was like, I was like, I like that painting of the burger in the background. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. That's, it, that's a self portrait, actually. Really? Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Looks pretty yeah. sick. <laughs> hmm. Wait. Oh damn! It's that close. I felt like it was hella far away. Well, I'm just in my studio. <laughs> That's tight. I need to get back into like painting and stuff. Why don't, uh, what's your, what, what's your address? Like, why don't you email your, email your address to me and then I'll just send you the painting. All right. I gave like, I had like, I had like some collage work I did. I think I gave, I don't know, I gave it to people. I think I gave one to Pat. I don't know. I just give give artwork away to people <laughs> if I do it. <laughs> Not that I'm much of an artist or anything like that. I don't think I am at all, really. I'm I'm kind of like in a weird space with my art. Uh, I sold a painting in 2020 for somebody randomly, randomly, like out of the fucking blue. And it was by like one of my cousins, like a, a distant cousin, you know? Yeah. Like just haven't talked to this person in years. And you know, I was like praying for money. I was like super broke. I was like, I just broken up with my girlfriend and left Texas, yeah. had, like 2000 bucks to my name, which is, you know, sure. I'm not totally broke. That shit goes so fast. <laughs> But yeah, that should go yeah. fast. I was yeah. just like, please God help me, you know. And then this random fucking cousin who I've not talked to, he like, he's like, I don't know, fifty something years old. I'm like, holy shit, this guy reached out to me on Facebook, whatever. Uh, he hit me up for like three thousand bucks for a painting. You know, that's tight. It was it was sweet. Like it it really really helped me out in that moment, you know, and uh, it meant a lot. And then recently, um, you know, I've like been able to collect unemployment and like had uh, some success with my Bitcoin endeavors or whatever you want to call it. And yeah. Then, uh, a friend of mine, like, who I also like helped out in Bitcoin or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah you know he's like a gen xer guy and uh he offered me like ten thousand dollars for a painting ten thousand dollars dude yeah and like that's rad <laughs> uh it's funny because like right now today i'm just like damn why did i say no to that i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't let somebody give me ten thousand dollars for any artwork i would do i just i don't know and I'm not like, I mean, I mean, I don't know. That's just because I'm not by any means like, I don't think I'm an artist. Like, I, I don't know. And it's like, I don't know. I take Polaroid pictures all the time. It's like, I don't think I'm a photographer. Like, I mean, you like doing artwork. You're like fucking totally like indulged in like doing artwork. And that's sick. But I mean, me personally, I'm just saying me personally, I'm just like, I don't know. Then again, I don't really care much about money in general, so <laughs> I just do what I do to have enough to survive, and that's like I don't know, that's good enough for me. I guess I just like, I like, I. This pandemic has been really interesting to me, like where I've listened to myself enough, where it's like, yeah, people that just give you money, like, occasionally that's good yeah this but like what to me like in my own personal insane 
trip of life, you know, is like, yeah, dude, I need a dentist appointment that's worth like 10 grand. And it's like, Jesus, really? If that guy was like, hey, I'll pay for your dental work and give me that painting. I would have been like, fuck yeah. But it's like this money. Yeah, see, like, that would have been my it's deal. Responsible like, with that. Like, I, I, it's not helpful to just shell me that amount of money. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, that's, yeah. that's going to make me get sicker than healthier, you know? Well, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I always live by that thing. It's like, um, you never want to give somebody, it's like, you want to, you don't want to give somebody the tree. You want to give them the seeds to grow the tree. You know what I mean? I don't know. I have these weird, like, things that I always go by. It's like, I don't know. It's like one of my buddies, like, like, borrowed money. And I was like, I just told him like, hey, like the like something I always live by. It's like it's always better to it's always better to be to be owed than to owe somebody something. And that's why I never take any. I try never to take anything from anybody because I don't really I don't I don't want to owe anybody anything. And you know, it's always better to be on like the you know on the giving end than the receiving end. I mean, it's just I don't know. I mean, I'm not like judging anybody for doing that by any means. Like. It's just something I've gone by, and I don't know. I honestly don't judge anybody. I just, that's just the way I, I, I don't know. It's just something I've gone by. Yo, it got worse. Like, after I said no to the two thousand, uh, the $10,000 offer, he was like, well, I bought the Tesla truck. Jesus. Like, you know? Like the new truck that's gonna come out, the fucking. I don't even think you can like. You can't. You know, yeah, it's not even out yet, is it? Uh, it's gonna be out like by the end of this year, but then it, he's like, "You can have my Tesla fucking." I think it was a X that he had, or yeah, Y, the one that doesn't have the Lamborghini doors. It's like the SUV one. Yeah, it's just like the, like but the random. Like, one. Dude, like such a. Uh, to me, at that point, I was just like, this is such a fucking piss on my face move at this point, you know? Because I started to, like, recognize, like, how much level this dude was on, where I'm just like, for you to just, like, give this away is, literally, it means nothing to you, you know? Yeah. That's what, you're, like, raping my ideas, <laughs> which mean nothing to you, monetarily, you know? <laughs> You Hopefully wanna... you don't listen to this. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I it's what I'm saying. I've harbored hate in this pandemic, and like I, I want to release that, and I feel like I, it's, yeah. it's because I've not been like doing martial arts or skateboarding or biking long distance, or I mean, I've started running long distance again, and like yeah, that that helps channel a lot of this like anger out of me. But like yeah, how do you, how do I mean, I get it. That? What, yeah. One thing to think about, though, is would you let these people rent a room in your house? Yes. Yes, I would. Let them rent a room in your house? Okay, never mind. Well, I was going to go. I was going to be like, why would you let them rent room in your mental capacity if you wouldn't let them rent a room in your house? But I guess, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No. It's like, why? Like, no. No. Like, I, I, now I'm embarrassed. I've like vented about my friend. Uh, right, don't be embarrassed. You shouldn't be embarrassed about something that you've already done. Don't be embarrassed about it. Just like no, whatever. No, I'm not going to name him. But uh, but at the same time, it's like I I did definitely like just air out some fucking dirty laundry on live YouTube. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. No, but you know, I mean, this pandemic to me has has. It's, it does have me questioning, like, okay, like, let's reframe the lens on, like, our relationships, you know? Like, and yeah. if you're, like, constantly hitting up for, like, business stuff, then it, it's my own fault. Like, I need to, like, label that as, like, business, friend. All right, now, now I know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, I have a fucking corporate job so it's like you know you like it's like you go to work and it's like you know you gotta understand like who's your friend and like who's your like who's not really your friend and it's like i don't know just stuff you gotta like learn you know 
can't get too, you can't say too much to somebody that you work with. Like you don't want to say too little, you know, I don't know. I don't know how this shit works. I just fucking do my thing every day. So let's go back into um, the skate scene for a second. Yeah, let's let's dive back in. <laughs> what's the what's your favorite piece of footage of yourself? Shit, that's a hard one. <laughs> um I have, you know, I, I really, I have my own favorite. I really like that movie. blunt pinky I did on the on that Jersey barrier in SF, the one you filmed where I did the blunt fakey. I did like blunt across it and then went to fakey. That was like one of my like the coolest tricks, I think, but I have been happy about. Huh? What video was that in? Uh, that was in a montage, I think, that you just filmed. I got it on my phone. I can send it to you. <laughs> I filmed it? Yeah, you filmed it. Okay. I'll send it to you. I'll just send it to you right now. And you'll be like, oh, that? <laughs> Why is that your favorite piece? I don't know. I like the way it was filmed. Um, that was, like, probably one of my favorite points of skating. Because, like, I just, like... I don't even know if I've moved to SF yet in this. Did you have like the the blonde long hair? Yeah. Look like. Then it's you got it now. Now you can watch it. You know what I'm talking about. Oh shit! I gotta watch this live. Are you gonna watch it live? Yeah, of course. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. This is in. This is in. Uh, that's. This is East Bay. You're right. Well, um, the first one's in SF. That's in SF. It's over off of like Harrison. Like, wait, that that it used, blunt to, it used to be there. Brian Anderson. So Brian Anderson did five oh fakey on that, and I did one that fakey. Blunt fakey that. in uh, SF. Are you sure? Positive, hundred percent. It's not there anymore. It used to be though. It's like over. It was like over. But well, my school had a campus over there. That's another reason I know it's over there because I used to fucking go to school like right there. Right. But um. Uh, yeah, it was like right under it's right under the fucking freeway, and then Brian Anderson did five o fakey in the Nike video, and that was like when I went there and I started trying the blunt fakey, I was like, "Fuck, Brian Anderson did five o fakey." If I do blunt fakey, that's like kind of like the trick he did, but not. And I was like, "Oh fuck, this is sick." So I was just like, "Oh, I did like something in the realm of Brian Anderson." I feel good about myself now. <laughs> Damn, because now now that you say that, like, uh, yeah, like, honestly, I can't believe you blunt faked that. Like, that's insane. I actually can't believe I did that, too. I mean, I don't even know if I could do that today. I might be able to, but I don't know. In that same montage, like, Alex, like, smashes a bottle, right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. He, this, fucking like, does, he, does, he does, like, lip slide or something. Right. And then, like, smashes a <laughs> bottle. Or no, he does board slide. I think he does board slide fakey. And then like smashes a bottle. Oh yeah, yeah. Then he smashes it. right, right. Yeah. I'm trying like, to we all, like, like, not, not, oh, oh John not board slides or blunt slides, but I'm pretty sure I nose grinded something in that video and but... Yeah. Oh you nose grinded there was like a table and you nose grinded it. So there's a table in the same parking lot. Because there used to be ledges down the street. Um, and like everybody used to take the ledges down the down the fucking street, but um yeah, there was a box like that was set up there and you nose grinded it. That was pretty sick. That was actually in that. And then Brendan did like backside nose grind on it and then ate shit. And he was like, had a cast on, I think at the time. Or his arm was like fucking wrapped up or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, you're right. He, de he totally had like an arm in a cast, like a couple fingers in there too. Yeah. So, all right. Let, now that we're talking about San Francisco and skateboarding at the same time. Um, yeah. There was a moment that we went and skated in Hunter's Point. Oh yeah, when I almost got and... carjacked. <laughs> no, well, so we went we went to the barrier spot, right? And I remember like 
a couple people got tricks. Like I remember Mike did a couple of tricks. I think even you, you maybe you got a heel. I think you got a heel flip over it. I tried heel flip. I didn't land it. I don't even know if I, I, I might have ollied over it. I can't even freaking remember. Well then, maybe it was John Knox. Somebody else got a trick too. I remember Mike backside flipping it. Mike backside flipped it. Um, I think John got a trick. Like he did like some weird shit though, like some wall ride. Like, that was like that was like in high school though. You know that right? It was, dude, we were young. like Yeah, we were, like, literally in high school, and then we went and got, like, KFC after because we almost got carjacked. But... No, all right, so, all right, yo. It's, that's not, it's it's not like we skated and then got carjacked. That's not what happened. No, 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 that's we not went, what happened. We went and skated for, like, a cool Hell hour. Did. Yeah. Like, it was a minute. Like, like, we had all our gear out. We were in the city. Yeah, hood, we had no idea where the fuck we were. Just like in the the most hood place we could be in San Francisco. <laughs> so Dude, we you know what? Honestly, but like you're the, driving the car. It was your what's car. The, yeah, but was this the same session? I'm like wondering if this was even the same session. It might have been like the next no. time we. We never went back there ever again. Oh really? No way. Like, it was that session. That yeah. Mike did the backside flip and stuff. Yeah. Holy shit, that's crazy. Cause like I like can't even like remember like really like I like only thing I remember is like I remember Mike doing the backside flip. Honestly, I remember watching him do it, but I just like I don't know. I think I kind of remember trying heel flip, and I think that was like it. And then I don't know. I don't know if John Knox back one eighty that. He might have. Yes, he did. You're right. He did. He did? Yeah. I Damn. think that's in the ABC video. I got to watch that now. Yeah. Dude, it was funny. Uh, Gerardo has uh, he has Hot and Ready. I Dude, Hot and Ready is the only one that's not online. Oh, and really? Gerardo has like Hot and Ready. Movie. He's like, do you have a DVD player? And I was like, shit, my parents – my parents have a TV with a DVD player. I got to like bring it over to my house and we're going to like, I was going to try to get like the dudes over to my house. And we're going to watch it. We're going to watch hot and ready. Yo, dude, that's actually like, I actually like, like that FGO video the most out of all of them. I think is hot. Yeah. Ready. I want to see. I mean, that's, 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 that's what, that's like the fucking missing link to me, dude. Uh, honestly. Is that the only one you don't have? Yeah, basically. Well, I've put everything else online. I mean, why not? Yeah, that's the only one that's not online is Hot yeah. and Ready. And Hot, I actually really like my part in Hot and Ready. I shared, who did I share it with? Jared? I think I shared my part with Jared, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But in, in ABC is when you heel flip uh, Vin and Chills. Yeah, I don't really like that heel flip, though. <laughs> I mean, it was... Well, I mean, there's I mean, no way for you to like, ride it there, out. But... Like, like, huh? it's like you land, and then there's a stair set as soon as you land. Yeah, I know. That's what I think. I was like, I wanted to go back and like heel flip it and then like go to the side, but I never did it. And then I don't know. I feel flipped other stairs. I haven't heel flipped any. I haven't been able to really heel flip until recently. I actually did a heel. I started doing heel flips on flat again recently, and they're like actually really good. Because I kick flip everything now. Now I get to just do kick flips good. <laughs> and that was the thing. I always wanted to be able to do good kick flips. And then I'm like, oh, I got good at kick flips. I just kick flip, kick flip everything now. <laughs> I've never had good success at the Vinichels set. Like, I've kick flipped that shit so many times and slipped out and just been like, I just, I just, I just can't do this. I don't know why. Yeah, well, dude, the thing is, you gotta like fucking, you can't go too fast, and you gotta do it, land, and, and then you gotta go the curb or you know, right around the corner. I mean, it's just, it's not fun. Yeah. Like you can kick flip the tents there way easier somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, I almost heel flip the the Valley Christian ten. I should have just heel flip that. I don't know why I decided. That was to... like downhill. Kind of, but that thing was sick. Like I landed on heel flip a, a couple times, and I just like slipped out. Like, I don't know. I think I wasn't, like, really trying as hard. Because I used to, like, I don't know. It's funny. I look back on, like, like the gnarly tricks I would try when I was, like, when I was younger. 
And I'm just like, what the, like, what was I afraid of? Like, I'm fucking like 15, 16. Like, what's going to happen? I don't know. I found all these pictures. It's funny because I found all these pictures of us when we were in like, uh, in, um, Monterey, like when we used to go to like Alex Warner's like beach house. Oh yeah. Dude. Let me see. I got him. I got, I actually got him. Let me see. Let's see if I can pull him out here. Uh, I have, I literally have like the best memories of going to Alex Warner's beach house. <laughs> when like, yeah, I don't know where I put him. Actually, there. never mind. I don't know where I put him. I thought I had him right here. <clears throat> I mean, he he always had like a, a, like aquarium passes and shit like that, you know. It yeah. Just, it was like, oh, we no worries, we don't have any money, but we can just go do this for like six hours. I'm like, yep, we totally can. <laughs> I, I don't that. know. That was fun, dude. There's so many spots in Monterey too. Yeah. I lived there for a little bit after high school. <laughs> you yeah. remember that? Yeah, I like lived there. I was like working for this company. I'm like, oh, do you want to go? Do you want to work for us in Monterey? We'll like put you up in a like an apartment. And I was like, yeah, oh, sure, why not? I do. I do remember that. Yeah, and then and then I was like hanging out with the like the the fucking local skaters, and then like Zarosha's like brother Rashad. He like was playing a sh- This is like I don't know. This is like the the one memory that was like the funnest was like that dude was playing a fucking show downtown with this band and I went, it was like the best shit ever. It was like the biggest rager like that I went to in Monterey besides going to like local house parties with like the skaters. And it was like the sick shit ever. It was so fun. I don't know. Monterey was pretty sick right about that time. I had a lot of fun. So, you know, you, you've been skateboarding for up to, 20 years probably 20 years plus at this point right yeah yeah pretty much what do you think is like if 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 you had to choose one value that you got from it like what would you say what what's your value in skateboarding right now like it doesn't like like accomplish no just a, a value it's like because, you know, a value is like somebody, you know, you, you could go, for example, like you, you could go to Europe right now and, and hit a skate park in, in France and don't speak a lick of French. Yeah. But like people would recognize you and take you in under their wing just because you skated, you know, that's, that's a value to so like, what's your, what's your biggest takeaway value from skateboarding as, as like a community member? I don't know the friends and family I have from skating. <laughs> literally, all my friends skateboard. Like literally, like I mean, I, actually, that's not true. I do have friends that don't like at all don't skateboard, but most of my skate, like most of my friends are from skating. Like, and I don't know. That's like the most important thing to me. I don't even really give a fuck if I'm like good at skating or not, as long as I get to hang out with people. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I don't know. Like to me, like uh, one of them. I mean, maybe it's not like my biggest one. Like I, I, I definitely value people above yeah. anything else. But at the same time, like you know, like music. You know, like I've I've listened to so much different music just from skateboarding videos. You know, like yeah. I mean, I think I don't know. I think listen. I think like watching skate videos. Like I definitely like. I mean, anybody that knows me and knows I like fucking rip music off of like skate videos. Like I'm just like, oh, this band's sick. But it's like I love music so much that like I'm just obsessed with like finding bands that are like sound similar and like this and that. And I, I like, I don't know. I like really old music. Like I fucking like classical music. Like I listen to fucking everything. And I just, I don't know. It's like last night I was watching some shit on like Tyler Childers, like playing guitar and shit. And like the dude's fucking amazing. And like, I don't know. It's like after that, I'm like watching like fucking like electric light orchestra and then it's like I'm listening to fucking like 
John Lennon, like some of his solo albums and I don't know, dude, I just like, I go all over the map. Like, I just, I don't know. I just fucking love music. Like it, it sucks. I'm not a musician. I mean, I play guitar, I'm not very good, but I don't know. I just fucking love music. I love going to fucking festivals and fucking shows and by myself and just fucking like getting fucking drunk and just watching music. It's sick. <laughs> It's super fun. Dude, I fucking love that shit, dude. I fucking like shit, man. Like if that was if that was a if that was a healthy hobby shit, dude, I would do that shit every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, man. I just love music, dude. I fucking I get down on shit. Sick. I'd pay homies to come over to my house and fucking play music for me every fucking day if I was rich. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but uh yeah man i mean i don't know skating and like music i think it goes hand in hand i think it's like creative aspect of it um i mean i tried to play guitar when i was like younger like whenever i like wasn't that good at like couldn't really skate very well and it was like my parents were like oh do you want to skateboard or do you want to like take guitar lessons and i was like fuck you i can't decide <laughs> And they were like, well, we're not going to pay for guitar lessons if you can't decide. So here's your skateboard, and there you fucking go. That's, Do you have yeah. somebody, like, in your uh, – let's see. Let me rephrase this. Who was your favorite skateboarder to witness, or do you have somebody like right now that's like in your highlight? Is it your brother? Is it Brendan? Is it Mike? Is it me? Is it Sean? Is it Jeff? I mean, you know, uh, talented people. You've, you've yeah, that's so, dude. Uh, that's a hard one. Who is your favorite Jeff person? Brad, Jeff Brad Brad has the person, best. Okay. In person, not on video, like in person. Yeah. No, no, in person. Uh, I think it's Dustin more of like a Manny even <laughs> Dustin. Dustin is like Dustin is. He's a fucking. He's a phenom. He's a phenom. Yeah, I mean, my thing was is like it was always with like tricks. It's like, it's like uh fucking uh, Jeff LePrad always had really sick crooked grinds. Like I always wanted to do like front crooks, like Mike. I mean, not like Mike, like uh, Jeff LePrad. Like Jeff always had really good front crooks. Always hella pinched with his fucking like shoes that were like fucking just demolished. Yeah, his trucks were just like so grinded down. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted I always wanted to do front crooks like Jeff. Uh Mike, like, I don't know. I always wanted to fucking skate like Mike. I always wanted to have the manual like the manuals that you had. You had good manuals. Um Jared Quartz. I don't know, Jared is like my fucking older brother. He was like a fucking father figure to me. I always wanted backside flips like him. I still can't backside flip very good. <laughs> but uh Jared, like, yeah, dude, he's fucking best front or best backside flips. Um, I don't know, dude. Uh, Brendan, 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 Brendan was just like a fucking rock star in the middle of. Yeah, but nothing. Brendan, dude, that's the thing though. It's like Brendan, I, I like, I was the first one to be like, dude, come skate with us. And then like he couldn't even crooked grind the hubba, and I teach you how to crooked grind the hubba, and then after that it was just like, fucking like, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like front side doing front side airs, fucking grinding, like just fucking blunt sliding handrails and like whatever, dude. He's fucking doing everything. And then just partying his ass off like he was one of us. It was fucking hilarious. But yeah, no, Brendan, dude, to the, I was partying with Brendan last weekend. Like we were in Reno last weekend. Like dude's, dude's my fucking, we're brothers. And it's hilarious because I used to think he was so much younger than me. But he's only a couple of years younger than me. Like, it's like we're the same age, basically. Like, he's not any, like, I don't know. He's not any fucking younger than me. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I fucking love that cat, dude. He's golden. Dude, he's, he's golden pony boy. It was funny, dude. We were out, like, we were in Reno on Friday. It was funny because I got in Reno on Friday. My grandmother had surgery, so I had to hang out, like, and I was, I had plans, like, I had a, I had a hotel and everything. So I was like, all right. And I'm like, hanging out. I'm like, 
dude, what the fuck? I was like, I didn't hit up Brennan. I got to hit Brennan because I always think he lives in like Calpine, doesn't have reception. So I text him and he immediately texts me back. He's like, yeah, dude, I'm skating. Like, come meet up with me downtown. I'm like, oh, shit. So I go meet up with him and some homies and then like There's next to me. Yeah, we were skating like the like downtown Reno. Like they set up jumps in like ramps and like fucking oh, boxes. Shit. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that spot. Yeah. And then I smacked my fucking knee fucking around, and then I was like, "All right, I'm kind of done." <laughs> and then we just went, and then we just went to the bars, and then next thing you know, it's like four in the morning, and shit happens, and everybody disappears. I didn't know where Brendan went. He calls me the next day, and I don't know. Was, and then we, and then. Calls me the next day and he's like, oh, what are you going to do tonight? I'm like, I don't know, dude. Want to meet up? And he's like, yeah, dude. And then he calls me later. He's like, I'm kind of tired. I'm like, so I was like, well, I'm going out. And he's like, all right. Comes meet up. And then, I don't know, me and him, we had a, dude, it was fun. I love Brennan. Every time I hang out with him, we just fucking have a blast. And it's like constant shenanigans. Yes. Totally worth it. <laughs> Be green, baby. Be green. Oh yeah, dude. Like we like when I met with him on Friday, he's like fucking does the biggest heel flip off this like off this big ass jump ramp thing. Like land like he lands it every try, but kind of like slips out. And then we're rowing around the corner, like going over to the bar, he's and he fucking always like onto this like like he just like always onto this fucking like like over this it's like over a railing, and then like onto this uh this like little bank. That was kind of gnarly. I'm literally popping a bottle right now in his name. <laughs> Sick. I gotta plug my computer in. Hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, you can. Jeez. Sorry, I'm still here. It's, it's very unannounced. Sorry. No, it's cool. I'm just I just had to go. I had to go around. Ooh. It's live, motherfucker. <laughs> In case you didn't think I was serious. Ow. All right, so you're in Reno. You're having a good time. Yeah. Had a little bit too much of a good time. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, that's, that's all. Yeah, no, no, it was sick. It was, it was fucking rad, dude. But, all right. Like, that's fun. If you're not living the party, it's not that interesting to listen to the story, you know, for the most yeah. part. Yeah. A lot of people. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, like, what led you to this? Like, what was it was there anything that like motivated you or there's like a practice that you stand by that like gives you this initiative to say like hey i want to fucking work my dick off so i can go and do my thing and just be a person and have fun on you know the days that i decide to like is it is there like a mantra that you live by or do you have a regimen or it's just like a, some sort of mentality you subscribe to or something like that? It's a good question. I don't know. Honestly, <clears throat> I feel like I don't have enough hours in a day to like do everything that I want to fucking do every single day. But my thing is, is that <clears throat> I want to eventually get to the point where I don't have to work and I just fish for a living because that's what I'm passionate about is actually like bass fishing. Like that's what I want to do. And I fish tournaments and stuff like, but, um, I mean, that's why I work hard. I work hard to like, if I'm going to do all the things I do, if I'm going to party, have fun, hang out with my friends, like <laughs> I'm going to put 110% to eight hours out of a day. <laughs> to get shit done and then do that like i don't know i i literally like just work really hard to and i like working like i literally i legit like working like i like like it was like i don't know i woke up on saturday i went out on friday woke up saturday morning at fucking 7 30 and redid my shed just because 
like i don't know it sounded like a good idea i was supposed to actually go on a date too and i fucking was like kind of running late so <laughs> but i mean i don't know i just like doing shit and like i don't know i like my job my every i don't know my job's like kind of interesting to me in a way so yeah i don't know i mean that's my that's what motivates me to do what I want to like to do what I do, I guess is what I should say. Yeah. Sorry. Did that make sense? <coughs> uh, mildly. Yes. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm just motivated by like having fun in working as if, if that makes more sense. It's like, I'm more motivated to like, like, I know if I work hard throughout the week and get my shit done, I'm going to have a lot of fucking fun on Friday night all the way to Sunday. And then the next time I have a three-day weekend, it's going to be even more fun. Like, I don't know. That's kind of what motivates me throughout the week. And then that and being able to eventually fish professionally, like, that's what also motivates me. <laughs> like, your, um, your fishing deal is, like, you could, I mean, you're definitely like an, you know, unsponsored fisher right now, but like you could probably step foot into that a little bit further if you wanted to. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. It's like the place I live, I'm able to have a boat before I wasn't able to. And I mean, I had a fiance before and shit and like, she was very supportive, but at the same time it was like, I was very focused on like, like trying to have a family. Like I wanted to like start a family, get married, do this whole like thing. And then I would kind of put fishing like second in a way, like everything else came first and then fishing's kind of like, whatever, like I'm eventually going to get to it. Can I, I mean, I hate to interrupt, but at the same time, like what, what, what got you into fishing in the first place? This, this uh, I literally saw aspect of you that you like, you're 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 a lot like me like I, i'm fucking running marathons i'm ready to ride my bike across the fucking country and go to baja with andy and jeff and you know like do, this should do that and so you guys should call me if you guys are actually gonna ride to baja you guys should fucking call me and then i'll come meet up yeah we're leaving on uh um, we're leaving on christmas so get ready son oh really yeah all right i'll see you guys fucking <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> yeah i'm definitely down for that um, um dude, I mean I'm buying a fucking gravel bike. It's gonna cost me like ten probably like ten thousand dollars to do the trip, but Yeah, it's probably that sounds about right. Yeah. But they wanted to do this I mean, last like, year. I, I I want that like in my belt buckle, you know? Instead of like yeah. Burning Man's or like, oh wow, we fucking took so many tries. I need to go to Burning I haven't gone to Burning Man yet. I wanna go to Burning Man. It's I mean fun. dude, no, yeah. I don't want to shit on Birdie Man. Definitely. I mean, that's the, dude, that's the thing. I'm like, like I don't know. It's like I have friends that are like, like shit on Burning Man stuff. It's like I don't give a fuck about anybody's party, what their deal is, or anything. Like I just, I like party and have fun with people. Like if it's a burner party, like yeah, dude. Like I don't give a fuck, dude. I just want to check it out. Like it sounds sick. Like I just don't care. Yo, burning parties are the best, but at the same time, it's just, it's just like, how many times, how many times do you have to like redline your body on full drugs? Like, sure. Maybe you have to do it once. Maybe you have to do it 10 times. I mean, you have to do it like 5,000 times. Like, nah, I yeah. don't think so. Bill Simon and beer are my, are my main, main deals these days, but you'll probably be great with mushrooms and beer. You'll probably be fine. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just, I don't know. I'm like, you know, hey, like I said, work hard, play hard, baby. Right. Best combination. What, 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 like, what was your hook to fishing, honestly? Like, what was the first thing? I mean, you really want to know, honestly, honestly, here's, here's the deal. So the reason I love fishing so much is because all throughout my, like, like, like as a child, I would go and like catch lizards. Like I would literally like go like, like after elementary school, I'd go to my grandparents' house. I'd put like, 
like boards down and like random shit in their backyard so I can go catch lizards and snakes. This one day I was watching a bass tournament on TNN. It's like our TNT or whatever the, the hell it's yeah, called. TNT. I remember that. Yeah. It's like the, the hillbilly outdoor network. Anyway. So I like one day was watching that and there was a bass tournament on and uh, I literally watched that and I was like, that's what I want to do with my life. That's, that's it. That's my, that's my calling. <laughs> and ever since then, like I've literally have been obsessed with it. Like I've literally have been like, this is what I want to do. And now regardless of that, like, yeah, I put it on the back burner like numerous times, like honestly, like all throughout high school, I fish tournaments in high school. Like I can go get my, I actually found my first fucking trophy recently, but, um, all throughout high school and stuff, my plan, and I even like told people to say that thought I was weird as shit, but I was like, um, yeah, the only reason I want to go to college is to, like get a good job so I can bass fish. Like that's all, like that was my whole plan, like going to college, like getting a good job. Like that's all I wanted to do was like fish. So I was like, oh, I can like, cause I knew it was the expense. I knew it was hell of expensive. And I mean, I don't know, dude, like now looking back, like, Honestly, like I could have done things differently to like do that, but I don't know. It's like, honestly, like, I don't know. It's like, I have friends that are like, like professionals and stuff. And it's like, I tell them like, I don't know. We always like talk about this shit. Like, Oh, what like led us to this? And they're always like, well, dude, I don't know. It's like, you could have just fucking done this straight out of high school and been a pro, but like you like, I don't know, like you skateboard and you do all this other shit. Like you might've been like, Maybe you would have got bored with bass fishing and like fucking dipped out eventually. Like who knows, you know? Like you might have like been like, ah, oh, fuck this. I never got to like go and like party and have fun and like do all this other shit. Right. Like I don't know. Who knows though? Like, but I'm having fun now, and yeah, I don't know. Like I fish pretty regularly. Like right now, I'm kind of like in limbo because I I just moved and everything. And I'm like saving yeah, for a boat. Thing, like I, uh, for one season, I worked for um, a commercial salmon vessel out, like in the Pacific Ocean. Dude, that's gnarly. That's some gnarly shit. Yo, it was just like me and a captain. That that's it. That's the whole thing. And we had like four different lines, and we we're like trolling four different lines at once. Damn. Yeah. And like, like it's when you, when you're fishing salmon, like salmon move in schools, you know, like, yeah, 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 no, I know that schools of them. And it's like, when you're landing them, it's like every fucking hook has them. <laughs> and then like you drive around for like the fucking rest of the day and you have nothing, you know, for like yeah 10 hours, <laughs> but like for two hours you have like nothing but just salmon that are just like flapping up. You have to fucking cut yeah. the out and just you know do the whole thing got them but oh man that that process was like amazing like it, it was it was fun it was, it was a good time in at the same time like dude we saw some like when when you're hunting like that like i, I really really believe like hunters get this different uh kind of it perspective if you will like versus like the yeah hiker, like hiker you know into nature well i mean that's my thing that's like, i was talking about that earlier there, and there's like yeah like I, I remember this one morning we were like we we're heating our coffee and our like a little fucking top ramen noodles bowls or whatever else we're gonna go out and fucking fish all day and shit and just be gnarly motherfuckers and yell at each other and fucking take a shit off the side of a boat, you know? Like, <laughs> uh, and it's like, the next thing you know, it's like the sun was coming up and like there's like birds diving into the ocean like yeah, for fish and there's like whales breaching and like all this shit and like I was remember taking pictures and, he, and the captain even in that moment was like, yo, I told you, you'd never forget this shit for the rest of your life and i was like <laughs> you're right but at the same time it's like we're out here doing we're, we're hunting like we're, we're, you know we're harvesting like yeah. 
the life that's occurring right now. <laughs> <laughs> but True. So it's interesting. It's like it's like the you know, as, as the hunter, you have like a very unique lens into nature, and some and some of it is some of the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Yeah, definitely. No, it's definitely true, dude. Like, I don't know. I I want to hunt more than what I like than I do, and it's like, I don't know. That's it's like what I said. Like, I catch a lot of shit for being a hunter and a fisherman, and it's like I don't know. People want to draw like they want to judge me like before they know me. And it, it, I mean, it happens, and I'm not like fucking like sitting here crying like a little like oh man, people judge me. Like, no, it's just like that's just the reality of it. It's like that I've had to deal with. But um, no, I mean, like, the thing is, like, the reason I hunt is because, like, I want to eventually get to the point where I'm only eating the meat that I hunt. And, like, that's the most organic, pure meat that you're going to get. And if, like, I mean, yeah, like, I love animals. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I fucking love animals. Like, I was out hiking this weekend and like i love watching deer like they're fucking beautiful like i love watching animals but at the same time it's like i eat meat like and th like there's a circle of life like you know like if i don't eat a deer like a mountain lion's probably gonna eat them like something else is gonna eat them the death i give them is probably gonna be a lot quicker and a lot more cleaner than like a mountain lion eating them from the I don't know, from their ass end up to their head while they're still alive. So, right. I mean, sorry, sorry to get graphic there. I probably shouldn't have said that, but like, that's the reality of it. Like, and if people feel a different way, like, that's fine. I, I, you know, I appreciate that. Like if you're not going to eat meat and you're not going to hunt, like, that's cool. Like I eat, I actually eat a lot of veggie, like stuff. Like I eat soy rizzo and stuff like I'm going to make dinner tonight and it's going to be soy rizzo, beans, lettuce, and like tomato. Like that's going to be my dinner tonight. Like I don't, I'm not always like eating steaks and meat and everything else, you know, like, and that's a lot of hunters. Like a lot of hunters are conscientious about a lot of things. And I think people need to like, I don't know, take a little step back think about it <laughs> just my opinion i mean i, I kind of like eat what i feel like eating at the time you know and sometimes it's like yeah i want to eat a steak and sometimes yeah. it's like ah, i want a salad or like just you know just something that has no meat in it for, for for one reason or the next you know i mean i just i feel shit dude if i just if i'm just eating meat and i'm not like burning off those calories like i feel bloated and like uh, like i just feel so gnarly but if it's like i'm working out and like i'm burning off those calories like dude i don't know especially when i'm eating venison like if it's like a deer that i've hunted and shit like i don't know i feel like i have like way more energy and shit like eating venison because that's way more the protein the protein count is like way higher than like something that's been farmed unless i mean Wait, so you've hunted your own venison? Yeah. Ah, ah, I'm so jealous of you. Dude, honestly, like, I mean, to be honest, like, the first time I shot a deer, like, it was, like, I didn't know if I could do it, you know? Like, I didn't know if I had oh, it in me. Because, it, dude, it's a big animal, and it's like, you're taking the life out of something. I don't know. It's not like a bird. It's not like a bird flying through the air. Right. I don't know. Oh, I mean, I guess it's right. poor, yeah, good point. I guess that's kind of a poor, like, analogy, but. Hey, are we able to go, are we able to, uh, to, uh, what, what do you call it? Like intermission for like 15 minutes or not even 15 minutes, like five minutes. Can we do that or no? Yeah. Why do you go, go offline? I'll fucking entertain all of our listeners while you're, I just going. gotta, I gotta grab a beer and do something real quick. Yeah. What should I just hit leave? No, just go do your thing, and I'll just entertain our listeners with all of our advertising. All right, I'll be I'll be right back. Get we'll be right back. Just getting a beer and yep. stuff. Wow! Thank you guys for listening. 
to me in chess. Hey, Jesse, I'm back. <laughs> Yo, you asked for five minutes, and then you're like back in five seconds. Not oh, five. sorry. <laughs> I didn't think you were actually going to get up. <laughs> Well, I got up and I was like, well, if he wants five minutes, I'm going to go smoke a cigarette. I mean. <laughs> we don't have too many sponsors. We have we have a couple. We have some Hudson Valley CBD sponsors. Oh, nice, dude. I love CBD. Yeah, why not? Have you heard of, like, Delta 8? What's that? Delta 8 is, like, a legal cannabinoid... Feder it's it's legal in all 50 states and it gets you stoned just like regular weed does but you can buy delta 8 at any gas station nowadays basically can, car, can right? i tell a story about it well okay so this one time i was in i was in new york you know that the bar that everybody goes to and i met these dudes and i don't know i get stoked on people when i meet them sometimes and like these dudes like were like they wanted to burn one with me they want to burn one with the old boy. And so I go next door to the other bar. And, uh, like, they're, I was, like, trying to roll, like, a, a split for them. And I was so drunk that, like, I was kind of fucking up on rolling the split. Now, granted, I'm not that bad at rolling a split, but I was fucking up. And uh, the dude uh, was like, dude, we'll just fucking, like, smoke. So we smoked some weed off of a can. Go back next door, and John Knox is, like, in the bar next door, and he's like, Yo, where'd you go? And I was like, dude, I was, I met these homies that were sick, dude. Like, I was fucking, I just fucking smoked, like, I smoked some weed, dude. And he's like, dude, you shouldn't do that. And I'm like, what? why not? And he's like, dude, because there's, like, synthetic weed here, and it's, like, bad for you. And then, like, moments later after he said that, I just had the worst fucking spins I've ever had in my life. Like, I was fucking dying, dude. And, like, and then, like, Alex Ray Pine, like, and John take us across the streets to this other bar, and I'm just like, they're like getting food and stuff, and I'm just like under the table, like just like, oh my god, this sucks so bad. It was like, I don't know. Whenever you say it's like not really like weed, I'm like thinking like synthetic weed or something, and I'm like, fuck, oh, dude. <laughs> I don't know. That was gnarly though. That was like the gnarliest shit ever. Honestly, like I, I've never like. I hate to like promote things that don't pay me money, <laughs> but like, no, I mean, if it doesn't, if it doesn't fuck you up like that, I'm down for it. Honestly, <laughs> here's the thing. It's like somebody who told me about this, uh, was like, Oh, it's like weed, but it doesn't make you paranoid and it stimulates your appetite. And I was like, all right, cool. You know? For like six months. And then yeah. like recently I bought one. I was like, I'll just fucking try it. Like recently, it took me that long. And now I'm like, huh, it has no effect on my parent, like no paranoia. 
And I am not like somebody that like overeats. If anything, I undereat, you know? Yeah. And I mean, me too. Like, I don't, I only eat when I'm that's hungry. Why I'm, that's why I'm saying it to you. I'm like, check <laughs> it out. Like, it's actually, it doesn't make me paranoid at all. And like, I do eat more when I smoke it, which is definitely, I think, a good thing. I mean, and and Delta Nine is the regular, like, when THC, if you smoke like a regular joint, from like the club or like yeah, weed or some fire shit or whatever, or, like a good blunt, like you're getting Delta Nine, which gives you these other effects and this one is just called delta eight yeah it doesn't have those and i'm like yo i'm sign me up for this shit this is cool because <laughs> i'm sensitive it's like you give me some acid or some molly or like you know some fucking serious drugs like i i get really affected like really easily like on a low amount you know I lost your audio. Ah. Sorry, no, I had mute. I was on mute. My bad. Oh. No, I was just saying, like, yeah, dude, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just kind of a lightweight hippie. I just fucking do whatever. <laughs> whatever under the sun, I don't really give a shit. I'm just, I don't know. I love beer, so mostly just drink beer. Drink a lot of whiskey. I love whiskey, my fucking... A booze cabinet. <laughs> All right, so we got like five to ten minutes left before I'm gonna piss my roommate off. All right. All right. Well, maybe. No, but like, we... what's next? Let's give me something. You and Lance want to do something? You guys want to do like? Dude, a... that would be sick. If you get, if Honestly, me and Lance. Hey, I'm... what if? In my head, I was like, if we do Sundays with Chaz, I think we can, and like, let's make this, let's make this fun. Like, what if we did Sundays with Chaz and hear yeah. me out, right? Like, it doesn't have to be like you talking. Yeah. Like, we're spinning vinyl that you're picking. You're putting a little mix out there. We're checking in on some bullshit on crypto and some regular news shit real real quick and i'm down back to music i think the i think the lance and i like i don't know did you could get like all my homies you could get like it could be like me lance rusty and jesse burdo and like we could be sit. well jesse's kind of like quiet but we could literally sit here drinking beers just like bullshitting the whole time i think people would think it was really funny honestly or it could just be me and Lance. Like, me and Lance are pretty fucking funny together. People always think that he's like, I don't know, it's funny. Like, when we're together, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, all right, we, we, can, we can definitely try that, too. I think... I'm open for anything, honestly. What I think is, is we go with music with yeah. people being guest star as the DJ. I mean, sure, you and I can kind of like curate what's going to go out, you know, on live, on yeah. Zoom or whatever. But like, let's, let, let's not just be like, oh, let's, everything's about our ego, you know, like. No, 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 no. I mean, it's just, I just want to make people laugh. I just think, I, I don't know. That's what I like to do is make people laugh and think it's funny and, you know, get something out of it, you know, make them feel good, all whatever. Right. All right. So, all right, let's strip it. Let's go. Let's simplify. Let's go. Me and you, Sunday mornings, we play a two hour set every Sunday. That's it. It's the most uh, Chaz deal. 
it's the it's in all of it's gonna be the vinyl that you buy each week. Damn. Or you know, I think I could. I think I could commit to that. Two hours on Sunday. Two hours on Sunday. Yeah. Why not? We if, could film. If you want to get famous for like some shit to like pay you to go bass fishing, Chaz, come on, listen to me. I'm, I'm as retarded as you are. <laughs> like in the opposite way. The truth comes out. <laughs> yeah, I'm like so you stupid. I'm you know, like you gotta understand. Like I'm ri- ridiculously dumb. But then I'm the most ridi- I am the most ridiculously stupid person you've ever met in your life. Yet I have a good paying job. I'm a fucking I'm a fucking accountant. Like, do you want to really know the the case here? I'm, a, I'm actually an accountant. So, yeah, yeah. No matter how dumb you think you are, you can actually pull things off eventually. <laughs> uh. But like, it, okay, all right. If we if we played records that were like pretty sweet, you know. Yeah, dude. I mean, I got records. And then you could like be like, oh, Eric, right, you know, this weekend's DJ is Jared. Like. Oh, dude, yeah, Jared would love this. He yeah. would he would eat this up. Yeah. All day. Let's. Let's fuck. The, I mean, this podcast right now is like. This podcast is so rad because it's like, I'm just going to come all of this podcast. Is oh, here we go. I'm going to fuck this go. podcast up. I'm just going to fucking. Yeah. Look, at... he's already signing. He's signing autographs. Wow. Look at that. Damn. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go, audience. Who is this that? Is <laughs> Who shot that photo? Me. Wow. I took that the bowling alley back in like 2000. Oh, fucking alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the one I got a Michael Bart is hilarious though. We got, you got, I gotta, I gotta throw that on blast. This, that one's fucking hilarious. Uh, we got Jeff. We got Jeff Laprad. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, Alex Warner. Wow. Uh um here's brandon oh b-boy the micah bar one's really fucking funny though i love this one this one's my favorite <laughs> lightning bolt I, himself i remember that phase for him there's my brother oh lancy lance god Lance is so fucking good at skating now. Yeah, he fucking kills it. He's better He's... than like anybody, any of us. Well, I know. That's what I told him. Like, dude, you need to understand that you're like better than like. I mean, he's rode for companies and shit. Like, he's been like. Oh. He's been on companies. Like, he's been oh, okay. flow. Like, he's been getting shit. Like. Cool. That's like good. people know who he is. Good. He's like it's he... been like it's it's been like this. It's been like I'm hanging out with people in the industry, and they've been like. Oh, you're Lance's brother. Oh, you're the <laughs> older brother. No. You're the older brother that just drinks beer and, and like, casually, <laughs> like, does tricks. So, I don't give a, I mean, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Lance's manager, basically. I just actually got Lance a job at my work. Lance works with me now. You're just pimping him. Just you just can't stop pimping him. I like that. He's my he's fucking best friend. He's my best friend in the entire world. Yeah. If he if, unforgiving. If he's not if he's not killing it, I'm not killing it. So there's that. All right, so there's one question I've avoided this whole time. All right, go ahead and ask it. I'll answer anything. How gay are you? No, no. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I
No, I, I'm not. I'm not. But but at the same time, I'm also semi serious. Like, so your dig in the fashion industry, like to me, like personally, I'll be honest here on live YouTube. There, there's so many people now that have like met me, right? And they're yeah. like, oh, he's fucking bi. He likes guys. He likes fashion. He likes blah, blah, blah. Dude, people have been saying about that about me since I was in high school. Like, that's been like the thing since I was in high school is like people thought I was gay. And the whole time I'm hooking up with chicks and like, I don't, I'm like, dude, like, I don't know. Like, I've never hooked up with a dude in my entire life. Like, I don't have the desire to. And it's not like I'm opposed or anything like that. It's just like, I'm a straight dude. Like, I like no. chicks. I fucking love chicks. Well, okay. <laughs> I kind of want to, like, pump the brakes on, like, your explanation. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, it wasn't really, like, the... But at the same time, it's like, okay, like, your appreciation for style, right? Like... Yeah. Yeah. You want to have like presence in a space, so you're gonna show up with as much loudness as you want to, right? In the moment. I mean, I don't know where that comes from. Uh, like, I honestly don't know. Like, honestly, like I don't know. It was like when I was in elementary school. I remember like I used to take out my clothes and fucking set them up and stuff. And like I've always been into like clothing and looking a certain way and like i've always thought it was cool it's like an artistic like output for me in a way i don't know why i don't know like i honestly cannot answer that question like i i used to you know what's funny is i like i was actually talking to this girl i know about this recently because i was like dude i've gone through like um uh, what do you call them like uh it's like when you go through uh, a identity crisis phase. It's like uh, you're having like an identity crisis, and like you don't know who you are, and like blah blah blah. Like a paradigm shift or something. Yeah, like I haven't gone through that since I was like in my fucking like early twenties, I guess. And like I just, I don't know. Like I, I think I, I don't know. It's like people that know me that haven't seen me in a while, especially since the pandemic, and I run into people. And like, oh, dude, you're like the same dude. Like, you dress the same, look the same, act the same. And I think you finally just kind of, like, grow into yourself. But, like, I don't know. Like, I've always liked fashion and shit. Like, I've always liked fucking clothing, couture. Like, I fucking read, like, I have really, I used to read Vogue on a, on a regular basis and stuff. Like, I, it's, it's a form of, it's a form of art. Like, and people don't really understand that. Is that, like, when you look at somebody, like, wearing, like, uh, clothing or something and there's like a, a sense of like art deco and like stuff like that and i don't know I, I i find interest in it i don't know i think it's fucking cool like it's weird that like people think that's weird about me but like i don't i don't know like I just, I don't know. it's like it's like a form of art for me i don't know i, I think it's cool <laughs> so that's how i got into that i guess And I worked in the industry too, and I didn't like the industry. I thought people were pretentious. <clears throat> that's my, I don't know. That's a big turnoff for me is people that are pretentious. <laughs> I don't think the industry is like interested on you being gay or not, you know? So no, 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 no. I don't think that. I love that too much. <laughs> No, I thought you were asking me like, oh, like, do you like, have you had people? I thought you were asking me if like, I like if people think that about me, if like they think I'm like, like gay, bi, whatever. Like, I don't know. I don't really think about those kind of things, to be honest. But I definitely had people like ask me just because like, I'm into style, I'm into clothing, and I'm into fashion in a way. So, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I can only speak from, like, experience, so I'm, like, there's a level of me that I'm, like, um, 
let's see. I've been asked to do certain things for, <laughs> you know, payment, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I did not say no to those things, you know, what am, what am I, now I'm defined as this thing, like, I don't know, I'm not totally sure. Nobody can, def nobody can define you as, as yourself, as what you perceive yourself to be. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, we're all just people, we all do, you know, like, I hunt fish, I'm a fucking hillbilly, like. I hang out at, like, dude, I go to SF all the time. I hang out at fucking bars in SF. Like, I fucking do, I do whatever the fuck I want to do when I want to do it. And if you have a question of that, fuck you. Like, honestly, like, if you're going to question me on anything that I do on any, right. any way, shape, or form, I don't fuck with you. Like, I do what I want to do, and I'm going to have as much fun as I am going to have doing it. And if you're going to question me, Cool. You're gonna hate? Fuck you. <laughs> like seriously, like who cares? Life's short, dude. I could go get hit by a fucking car. I could I could finish this podcast tomorrow, drive to work, get hit by a fucking car, die on my way to work, and that's it. And this is like the last conversation anybody ever has with me. So who fuck cares? Oh, come on. No, that's no. like I don't think it's gonna happen, dude. I'm gonna like I fucking whatever. But I'm just I'm just saying that like nobody should ever ever care about what other people think of them because there is somebody else. As much as there's somebody that thinks like you're fucking a kook, there's also somebody that thinks you're really fucking rad. Right. And it's like every time I meet somebody, like I don't know, it's weird. Like every time I every time I meet somebody that like is really down to hang out with me. I get really weirded out. I'm like, dude, why do you like hanging out with me? I'm a fucking kook, dude. <laughs> it's like nobody should like hanging out with me. But I don't know. I make people laugh at the same time. So I guess, I don't know. Whatever, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Yo, all right. We blasted two, two hours. We've done two hours. Dude, that went by so fast. Jesus. Yeah. We can we can play up your Venmo if you want. I don't have a Venmo and I don't I don't I just do this. I don't know, whatever. Like I'll promote your I I'll promote the podcast. I should promote the podcast. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Uh get more skates. Wow. What's that? Oh wait, hold on. You go this way. Get more skates. Okay, alright, cool. Yeah. Got uh, fucking Victoria HK out of Hong Kong. Woo wee! Homies. Sorry. Red Curb Skate Shop. Uh, I don't know. And uh, Lance. So fuck with Lance. Fuck with. Uh, <laughs> that's that's so not valid. That fuck fuck with party favors. <laughs> Look at that picture right there, dude. It's so ridiculous. It's so not worth it. Like, he looks so different. I know. My homie that works at... Hey, shout, shout out to uh, Altamont Beer Works. Shout out to uh, Norbrew. The uh, master brewer at Altamont. No. Wait, Norbrew is at Altamont? Oh my yeah, God. he's the fucking master. He's the master brewer at Altamont. Wait, so wait shout so out to him. Maybe millionaires and ride dirt bikes together. It sounds fun. <laughs> oh. All right, buddy. Are we, are we signing off? No. We're not done. We're not done. Oh, I thought we were. I thought we surpassed the two-hour mark. E yeah, you did. And now we're here. We're going, <laughs> we're going to like mushroom territory. Yeah, I gotta like, I gotta like go have a smoke if I'm gonna keep fucking drinking this much. I actually gotta make dinner at some point because I got a I got a long week ahead of of work. 
Are we still recording this? Are we still on? Are we still on YouTube Live? We're still live. Oh shit! All right, all right. You you got two options. All right. You ready? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what are the options here? First option is to sign off right now. Solid episode, good deal. We're good. Second, you go have a smoke. I have a smoke. And we come back and you tell one more story and we sign this shit off. Do it that way. I like that one. All right. All right. I'll see you in like five minutes. All right. Just text me. Okay. I'm like, what do you mean? All right. Dude, fine. You look like you, you dude, you, you remind me of Beaker. You're like, fucking, oh, dude. Okay. Call me and fucking. Call- you know what? Honestly, I- I'm going to fly out there and we're going to do a podcast like where we're sitting next to each other next time. That's what it's going to be. I'm gonna text you in like two. We're just gonna get fucked up and sit here and yeah, and talk about a couple minutes. It'll be like the party. It'll be like a party episode. We'll just talk about all the ridiculous parties we went to like throughout our whole time of knowing each other. I'm gonna text you. Definitely glad to be there. All right. All right. All right. All right. Smoke break.